On today's show, we dive into how new teachers are making their impact on Reedy. And an inside look at the new changes around school. These stories and more on this edition of Open Den. Hi Lions, welcome back to Open Den. I'm Lisa Romo. And I'm Namrita Tiara. As we kick off the new school year, I'm sure a bunch of you have noticed new faces in classrooms. Today, Priyal will be taking a look on how the new teachers here at Reedy are making their mark. Recently, Reedy High School has introduced many new teachers to the Pride. Let's see how our students and staff feel about the new Lions in the Den. I just want them to have a good time learning and to turn a subject that's really not that great for some into one of their favorites, so that's my goal. Ms. Patterson has started off her teaching career this year taking on AP Economics and World History. She appreciates the warm welcomes and support that the students and staff have shown. I think building a rapport and relationship with the kids is super important, so luckily I think my age helps in that, but I've been able to kind of, you know, build those relationships ahead of time to where there is that trust there. Our veteran teachers have also made an effort to adjusting with new co-workers. After teaching at Reedy for seven years, Coach Pearl emphasizes the importance of change and how the new teachers will ultimately benefit Reedy. Well, a lot of change is always hard, but with a lot of change and a lot of new people, we tend to get a lot of new ideas, um, and we just kind of get energized um, with the new people we've got here. While our new staff transitions into the Pride, it's no secret that our students are affected by the many teachers who have left. It's kind of weird for especially the senior class since we've known some of the teachers for so long, um, but it's also nice that we have new teachers in our Reedy family. With the new additions in the Pride, it's important to make everyone feel welcome. I'm Priyal Talwar with Open Den News. As a reminder, yearbooks have officially gone on sale through the Johnston's website. For more information, please go on the Reedy Yearbook Instagram, at Reedy Yearbook. Teachers aren't the only new changes around school this year. These new initiatives serve more than just helping to keep academic standards and housekeeping policies. Here's Hannah and Daniel with more. A lot can change over the summer. First class student reading high school have been trying really hard to maximize students' academic potential through these new school policies. Despite the school's good intentions and efforts, some might still think otherwise. How do our peers feel about these new practices compared to our teachers? How do you feel about administration getting stricter on tardies? Um, I feel like there could be more done to make sure tardies are taken more reasonably because it's a lot of people traffic in and out and a lot of stairs and everyone's getting late. I really like the fact that the kids are held accountable for being to class on time, especially in art. I mean, that's the beginning of class is when we're trying to give all the instructions, kind of giving them directions on what to do just to be prepared for class, and they really need to be here for that. How do you feel about the retest policy going up from an 85 to a 90? I feel like it's more reasonable, but like we should retest from up to a 95 or 100, I think. Well, I think it's better for both the students and the teachers. Um, it allows the students to reassess to a little bit higher grade, meeting mastery at 90. Um, but I also think that it's important too that kids aren't just coming in a second time and just blindly trying to retest. How do you feel about teachers taking up your phones for 80 minutes per class? I personally don't like it. I like to have my phone on me at all times for emergency purposes. Um, I know probably unpopular opinion with students. Um, I love it. Uh, I feel like the phones have been a really big problem the last couple of years. It's just I can't I can't compete with what's on your phone. You know, I'm just not that interesting. So having them put out of the way um, towards the front of the room is amazing. And it also helps break down the class into like two separate parts. So that hour and a half class period doesn't seem quite as long. After getting some insight from students and teachers around campus, we noticed that not everyone are for these changes. But most people do see the benefits of the new school policies. From Open Den, I'm Daniel Trevino. And I'm Hannah Varghese. A heads up that our Reedy football team will be playing Lone Star this Friday at 7 p.m. at Quickendale Stadium. Make sure to show all out in your neon. Remember seniors that this Friday before the game, the senior tailgate will be taking place in the stadium's parking lot from 6 to 7 p.m. Open Den is also active on Instagram and Twitter at RHS Open Den. Make sure to check us out on our website at OpenDen.org where you can find links to previous shows and newspaper stories. 
That's all we have for today, Lions. I'm Lisa Romo. And I'm Namrita Tiara for Open Dead News. Thanks for watching. And remember, Roar, Lions, Roar. roar.